what's going on youtube fam and welcome back to the channel uh if you're new uh welcome and please don't forget uh at the end of this video to smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the content so i found an interesting story that i want to talk about today um and it kind of intrigued me and it kind of uh enlightened me on some things but we're going to get right into it um Reports came out that devices like the Apple Watch, Garmin, and the Fitbit watches can predict whether a person has COVID-19 even before they're symptomatic or even before the virus is detectable by a test. And this came out um, from studies from the leading medical um, institutions, including Mount Sinai Health System in New York and Stanford University. So researchers in Mount Sinai found that the Apple Watch can uh, basically detect subtle changes in an individual's heartbeat. Uh, and this could basically signal whether an individual has coronavirus up to seven days before they feel sick or infection is detected through testing. Um, specifically, the study uh, focused on a metric called heart rate variability. Uh, this is the basically the variation in time between each heartbeat. Uh, it also shows basically how well a person's immune system is working. So heart rate variability markers change as inflammation develops in the body. And that's essentially what COVID does. It causes mass inflammation within the body. Um, it was said that individuals with COVID-19 experience lower heart rate variability. Uh, in other words, lower variation between heartbeats. So, uh, and that was in contrast to uh, COVID-19 negative uh, individuals who showed higher uh, heart rate variability. So, I tried to sum it up as best I could. But basically, um, this was an interesting story to me because um, I often raise the question is technology our friend or is it our enemy because and i say that because it it causes us it, it sort of causes destruction in the world uh, not so much destruction but it, it it causes so much uh uh negative things like if you see social media sometimes has a negative impact on our youth and uh it makes people do things that they normally wouldn't do for cloud so and that, that's all raised by technology um another reason i feel like technology could hurt us is it makes us rely on it too much uh, and i use gps for an example um before gps people had you had to know directions uh you couldn't just rely on your phone to tell you where to go or your gps system to tell you where to go people before gps or before smartphones had to know certain things they had to possess certain knowledge and and i can use calculators for example as well uh before calculators people had to know real math like our ancestors and people before us but with the emergence of technology and being as big as it is it it sometimes makes us lazy makes us do things we don't want to do it we rely on it way too much and i could kind of see that but on the other hand technology also offers a lot of good into the world and i think this in particular is one of the shining examples of the good that it could bring into the world that it actually contributes to the world so i feel like it's give and take and it's ultimately up to the person how you handle yourself uh in, in any situation but how you handle yourself when it comes to technology um you can't let it consume too much of your life but if you use it properly, you get results like this. Now, this is very, very helpful. And this is something that could actually save a lot of lives. Because if this thing can detect uh, COVID before the test can, I believe it said a week before. Uh, imagine if we knew about this uh, way back when the pandemic started in January and March. I believe the death toll is 
is well into the millions if not more um don't quote me on that um if you know the exact numbers leave it in the comments below uh you know i love to interact with y'all um or I any way you want to correct me i have no problem with that but i believe the death the death toll is really high uh but maybe if we knew about this at the beginning of the pandemic we could have saved maybe uh millions of lives um if this technology is what they say it is and it actually is effective as they say it is um this could be very very helpful so and it it brings me sort of peace you know uh when it comes to technology because i oftentimes do look at it in a negative way but this this story actually made me feel good and it made me feel like we're uh progressing in the fight versus COVID 19 uh we also have vaccines coming out so but this is very very uh interesting and it's uh i'm not sure if it's, it's just says the apple watch but i'm pretty sure now that this technology is present they said you have to use it certain apps uh, i don't have what those apps are but you can look up the story and um pretty sure you can get more information on that you can leave that in the comment section uh you can help me and help anybody else i was wondering about that but i think this is this is great like this is uh very something that's very helpful and i could see a lot of people going out and if you don't own a smart watch uh currently i can see a lot of people uh going and buying smart watches so uh if you have any interest in stocks i'm pretty sure that stock gonna skyrocket uh whoever definitely apple because right now it seems like the apple watch is uh leading in this uh particular field technology on how it uh detects it from the story i read but uh with all that being said i think this is this is terrific on how we are using technology uh to fight uh sort of this war um that we're fighting and we're using it to move forward and uh we're using it up to do to bring more good into the world and that's what i feel like the intention of all technology should be uh is to is to do things like this i want to report more stories like this uh not that technology uh hurt people or made people uh or made people uh do bad things but how technology did something good for this world and help people uh overcome something and that's just my take on it um like i said leave your opinions and your questions in the comments below uh, how you feel about this but i think this is it like i said this is this is just awesome and i definitely really want to test how well this works not that i want to catch covid but i would like to uh, just have one you never know uh what can happen but um but with that being said uh thanks again for tuning in uh please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and thanks again for listening